in this video i just want to show you something cool i've found and if you look on my screen here you should be able to see that i'm playing a sort of version of csgo and you should also be able to tell that first of all it's running quite slowly and second of all although it does look a bit like csgo it doesn't resemble it fully some bits look a bit odd and that's because this entire sort of game that i'm running right now is entirely ai generated so for example if i now press the left mouse button to fire you should be able to see some sort of muzzle flash where the gun is located and although it doesn't look very good it just shows that the ai understands that when i press the left mouse button typically that would mean that the gun should fire and the reason this demo is so impressive is because of the coherence that is displayed between images as the ai runs and coherence has been typically been a big problem point of ai and you notice it if you've ever used any ai video models where one thing's happening in one frame and then the next frame something completely different is happening. Now the install guide for this is relatively simple. What you want to do is go to the GitHub page that I've linked down below and just follow the install instructions down here. Now, just for the first one, in case you haven't used Git before, what you want to do is just do git clone and then put in the code link over here. So just click copy to clipboard and just paste that in. And once you've done that, it'll create a folder called diamond. And from there, you could just carry on the install instructions down below. Now, another thing, if you have a weaker PC and want it to run more faster, what you want to do is go into the folder where you've installed it, click on config, and then open the trainer file. And then once you've opened the file, what you want to do is change the world model environment from default to fast, and then save the file using control S, and then just run the program again. So the Python SRC play.py. 